Hello and welcome back to yet again more of this here, The Last Remnant Bollocks. And I'm never sure about my volume because the volume in this place is kind of low. Before we do these two quests in here, which theoretically is what we will be doing today. Depending on how long one of the quests takes. Obviously if one of them takes 40 minutes, I'm not going to try to do the other one. Also, apologies for the pauses there. Uh, I've actually walked right past Cademon, and I actually meant to look it up before I started this video. God dang it. I walked past him a couple of times without actually realizing it, but here he is. He's just stood out in the middle of the street here, with his folded arms. Someone said this game needs more people with forearms. This dude does actually have forearms. I don't know if you guys have noticed that yet, but there you go. Glory to the Falcons. We have to talk to him a couple of times, I believe, and apparently we may have to actually leave this city. Or at least that area, and then try and talk to him again. Let's see if that works. If it doesn't, we'll leave the city entirely and see if that does anything. That I would like to speak to you, Cademon, and then you would go to the pub. And then you give me a quest, and then stuff happens. For the love of God, Gadman, Godman, Goodman, just just do your scripted bollocks for me. Hmm. I think the only requirement for this is you have recruited him and you talked to him a couple of times. Um, I don't know how to actually trigger the talk to him a couple of times thing. If this doesn't work, then we're just going to move on and start doing this quest, then I'll talk to him a couple times in my own time. And then maybe he'll give us a freaking quest like he's supposed to. Either way... Let us head to Cafe Moon Dust. Watch him be in here. Is he in here? Oi! Anyone seen a dude with forearms? Forearms like trees? Uh, no he's not up here. Either way, let's go ahead and do these quests. Let's go ahead and start with Paris. It breaks my, uh, thing. I don't really... What is that? A little dangly flag bit that goes on the back. What is their name for that kind of cloth? That kind of outfit? I don't know. Sure. Communicated, communicated in secret. Does it involve flapping cloths in front of your groin? Because that's currently how I'm communicating. It is the only way. I think... Yeah, my chair is actually hitting the tower. God dang it, you've decided to elope. Good lord. Why is everything at the Great Subterrain? Why? That place is awful. And I've already been there twice to fight two different bosses, and now we're apparently going to go there again to fight a third different boss. <sighs> God dang it. What about a mother? Our parents must have joy. Also, the seer speaks to us from the skies. Oh. Oh. Now, it didn't say anything about the uh, island in the sand, and we know for a fact that there is another area with a dead end in it. So I'm going to head that way, having no idea whatsoever if that's the actual direction we're supposed to be going, but I'm going to head that way and see if he's in the okay, platter right now, and see if he's in that dead end down this way. Frame rate. See, frame rate was having some issues there for some reason. In fact, it still appears like it might be. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. In my terrible vision. I am basically blind, if you didn't know. Oh, the frame rate is being weird. 
I don't know. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. I don't know what would be causing it. Nothing's actually freaking running, so... Nothing unusual is running, anyway. So the dead in there, he's probably not there. He's probably this way. If I were a seer who lived in a cave suspiciously, I would be down this way. There might be some dig points as well. Duck and weave! Duck and weave! Those dogs are so annoying because they're so fast and they have that, like, lounge. Lounge? The lunge is what I meant to say there. Dear God, there's a lot of enemies here. Hello. Are you a seer, perhaps? You have some friends around you. I think that is actually the seer. Speedrun strats. And now we fight. Round one. I don't think this guy's too hard. He apparently has friends, so there's that. I don't think he's too hard, though. We'll have to see. I think he does have an AoE. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't multi-deadlock. He's just a human. Humans generally don't multi-deadlock unless they're, you know, the God Emperor or something. These guys cause acid burn just by hitting you. Is that what just happened there? Oh, come on. And he's apparently... He did 1800 damage! And he takes none, and he has 2,000 health. This dude's a tank and a half. And my game is actually running quite poorly. I apologize, I don't know why it's doing that. Nice caustic blast. It shouldn't be, but it is, apparently. Like, it's dropping down to 40 frames for some reason here. Hmm. Come now! Why would that be? As I try and move the mouse, except it's locked into the game. Is there anything running? No, there's nothing running. Hmm. It's because that open? Maybe it's because that's open? I don't know. I highly doubt it's because that's open, but we'll give it a whirl anyway. Uh, we don't need to attack from afar. Just everyone attack. We're full morale, so this guy's going to take a ton of damage unless he kills someone. Which is unlikely. It just did, what was that, 7,000 damage with Caustic Blast? Nice block. I'll give you credit where credit is due, Seer. You did a nice block there. It, however, does not actually matter. Now the frame rate's still being weird. Hmm. Is it this area? Was it doing it in town like that? I don't know. Either way. Seer's dead. That's that quest. We get a ton of this gold. Exactly what I needed. Some fangs that he apparently needed. He can have them. I don't care. If the AI needs something, the AI gets something. Is she floating? Also, what is with her stance? Why is she standing like that? And why is her skirt so stiff? Hmm. Let us return back to where each of us belongs, away from each other. Also away from this cave. Also stop getting, you know, in horrible circumstances where one of you's about to die all the time. A small token. So we get the bracelet of grading, grafting, sorry, not grading, which someone else can have. I don't want it. Well, actually, well, do I want it? I don't think I do. Let me do a quick check on it, because I actually forgot what the stats already. Can I fix my... no? We're just very erect. All right. Rush, what do you have? Slow down plus two, doesn't matter. At some point, we are giving that to someone. Kismet's Kiss is something I want to have, though. Maul plus two. Our weapon is Maul, is it not? No, it's Bludgeon. Well, screw you two, game. The frame rate is being weird in town, too. I wonder what's causing that. I'm remarkably curious what's actually causing that now, but 
considering this is only like an hour after the last video that I recorded with the other cutscenes were or the uh, the other side quests that were working perfectly fine. Also, what is this woman wearing? Hina and Hana, apparently. Hey, we're going back to the castle. Such a dank, dirty place. Hmm. You're a hired blade, by the way. Why, why are you frail? That's not how that works. Also, how do you like my, uh, my wiggling cloth in your general direction? No one seems to ever be phased by my capabilities here. Yeah, sure. Yes, very yes. Of course, yes. I hope I get a good reward for this woman. I'm not gonna get a great reward for this, by the way. In fact, I think it, it gives us a reward which is required to do another side quest, so that's not very helpful, game, but whatever. She is in the Oath section, which I believe was the section that, that's just straight down this way. Because I believe we couldn't go to any other sections. Maybe we could, I don't remember. Either way, we're gonna head straight down this way to where I believe the Oath section is. We do still have to find her in the oath section and then find what she's looking for in a different section that I forgot the name of and I don't know where that section is, but we gotta start somewhere, so this is the somewhere that we will be starting. It is the oath section. Hooray! I remembered the freaking audio for that hooray. You look like a rare. She's probably in that center spot again. No, he saw me. I don't recall there being a giant plant in the area, so I'm going to run with the assumption that that is a rare, but it's not because there's another giant plant, so whatever. Is this guy super salty? No, okay. I was about to be upset if we were going to have someone chasing us through the entirety of this area with floppy feet again. And he ruined that cutscene too, him and his floppy feet. Are you aggressive? No, you don't care. Why can't everything be like those beetles? They just don't care. Is Hina over here? Hina? There you are. I already forgot her name. I think it's Hina. Or Hina. Or Hina. It's her! With her lovely flowing hair. And also a swarm of beetles. You'd think we would have an advantage here, considering we showed up behind them. But put everything. Do what you want. She's also apparently not helping us. What good are you? You're a hired blade. Help us kill the stupid beetles, woman. Come. That's gotta hurt. Yep. Uh, I was gonna say I don't think it matters, but yeah, we're gonna take a bit of damage because of that. But I still don't think it matters. What well, does matter is the frame rate, mostly because it's just irritating me at this point. I'm alright with low frame rates, I always have been. Oh my god. I just killed three unions. I've always been alright with low frame rates. What I'm not alright with is freaking variable frame rates. Please don't eat the bugs. Wow, that damage. That did 14 damage and then died. Well done. I guess it's not too bad. I'll, I'll leave. Alright. Okay. Is there anything else you guys want to take? It's fine. I think, by the way, I believe when they ask for something, like if they ask for iron ore and you go dig up iron ore, I don't think they take your iron ore, I think they duplicate the item into their own inventory. Sorry. You, you didn't even help us fight them. 
There's a thing behind you. All right, Hannah, chill out. Hannah, Hannah. You don't, I'm not kissing your ass. Go away. What is this? Found a key. All right, well. Yeah, yeah. We know you have a bum and you want it to be kissed. We know how this works. I wonder if I can open that gate now. Hmm? That would be awfully convenient and I have to run all the way around. Awesome. Okay, later. So got some rough spriggan stone, is that what that was? Janna Alloy, I believe someone needs that. I think it's uh hmm? I think it's David needs Janna Alloy. So at least we know where to get that now. And iron ore, which I believe other people need it as well. I'm gonna go dig it this one a little bit. I think it's the same node. Come on out. I just, you know, mm -hmm. if we're gonna dig over here, may as well dig in both of the nodes to see. All right. What happened to our like five awesome. chain bollocks? Okay. I like it when you did five chains, Mr. Dig. Mm -hmm. All right. Eight chain. Holy awesome. crap! I like when you do eight chains as well. I right, got three more digs. We'll keep it. We need to go to a new area. Whose name I forgot, but we need to go to a new area in order to find the item that she dropped. I don't know why she's here. Looks like we can't open that gate. We do have a key now, so it may be possible that we can open this right or leftmost main hallway door. Assuming they can be opened. I don't know if they can. At worst, we'll have to go through the first area that you actually spawn in on and go through one of the alternate paths or whatever, but it shouldn't be too bad, considering we finished that first quest, like, instantly. Well, not necessarily instantly, but we finished that first quest remarkably quickly. We have plenty of time to do this one. Okay, Another weapon later. recipe? I approve. We haven't done any crafting in a long time, but... Let's check... Hello, friend. Let's check over here, see if we can actually open this door. We'll be followed by our plant friend for a little bit. There's a giant padlock. Yeah, sure. Apparently it works. I don't know what we did with the giant padlock. We just ate it or something. Mmm, giant padlocks. Om nom nom nom, etc. Et so where are we now? The Phoenix section. I don't have a map. I assume this is the section that her item is in because it's new and, you know, that's how this stuff works. Okay, later. A map would be nice, because otherwise I'm just going to wandom, wandomly, randomly wander around until we actually find something of interest, which could be ages, if previous wanderings are any, uh, indication. I was hoping that was a map. It wasn't, if you're curious. It's a dig spot. Uh, we won't dig from there. We've only got one more dig, so I'll try and save it for a, uh, Special node if I spot one. What is our Mr. Dig status, actually? He's doing quite all right. He's got Platinum Digger, so that's the thing. Where's the, uh... Multiple... Oh, he's only got slight increase to multiple components. Fair enough. He's almost halfway through leveling all of it. Which, considering how long it's taking to level any of it, it's a bit absurd how long it's going to take to level the last few levels. Do you guys know where the map is? Hello, bug. Excuse me. Is this the map? This is where you hide your treasures? No, that's where you hide your silver ore. Whatever. Bug, have you seen a map? I don't know if you know what map is or even what I'm saying, but have you seen one? There's a dig point we're digging. I got an antique Later. pot. Whatever. Excuse me, bug. I stole your pot. I hope you don't mind. In the meantime, we're gonna wander back in this general direction. There's so many bugs in this place. Also, that one's a different color, isn't it? I wonder what's up with that. We may have to fight those guys, although that guy's not aggressive. There's a ton of enemies here that are just not aggressive for some reason. Which is really bizarre, considering they're normally... Ooh, normally aggressive enemy types, they're just kind of casually chilling. Um, nothing? Alright. And of course there's a special dig node, probably containing a recipe of some description. 
You're probably not aggressive. There's a teleporter. And there's aggressive dudes. A feeling we're gonna have to fight these. Should we fight all three? Let's, Let's fight all this. three and then possibly die. This is another treasure chest. If we're gonna handle three pools of these guys, then we have a problem. The problem being that we can't handle three pools of these guys. Hopefully no one gets intercepted. Hey, we did the intercepting. That's good. Oh, these are shamans, eh? I don't think we've fought any shamans so far. We have now, and now we've killed shamans. Are they all shamans? No, there's arch shamans, which no poison gas, great. Somehow dodge that. I wish these guys were closer to everyone else, but they're not. I love when Caustic Blast hits everyone on the field because they're all piled together. It makes me so happy. You do like 30k damage to multiple enemies in a single turn. Nice. This is going really well, if you can't tell. for another one, but our morale's maxed out, so... We are doing quite well. Even our basic attacks are killing these guys rapidly because of that morale. Oh, I was hoping for another counter. I think that would have actually killed everyone on the field if they had countered. It would have. They were the last one left. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. They'll do a little bit of damage, but considering you heal outside of battles, it's not too much of an issue. They did crit. And then we killed them, so we fixed the morale problem there. Excellent. Sweet! Lordly Marauder. Expert bones. Scout, I think that was. She needed fur, apparently. Sure, I don't care. A moldering Jana spear. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. That was a remarkably easy fight, so that's a good sign. We did get fairly lucky on the uh, counter there, as well as some other things, but I think someone needed an Astro Alloy, which means at some point they'll duplicate that. I know for a fact if, you, if someone needs something... What is going on over there? It's a party and a half. If someone needs something, and it's in your inventory, they will eventually take it and duplicate it without you doing anything. They'll ask for it and then eventually take it. Is this not the way to go, apparently? Ooh, Rose Thorn. Can I view the model? Alright, fair enough. Looks kind of cool. Um, we still don't have a freaking map. I could fight them, I really don't care enough to do that though, so we're just gonna move on. Where the heck... Did I miss a path somewhere? Or is this not where I'm supposed to be? There's the teleporter, I was expecting something over there. Some sort of fight. Yeah, this was all a straight path. The other way down... We went that way as a dead end and we got some treasure, I think. Hmm. What did I miss? Where have I been? Where have I not been? I do like the fact that so many of these enemies are passive, though. That bug, however, is not passive. Yeah, well, he is, however, extraordinarily slow at noticing that I'm here. We can go this way. That just leads to... This also leads back out into the first area, doesn't it? Which, if that's true, that's not where I want to be. It does. That path in the middle of the screen looks like it's broken, because it's not a straight line. Hmm. There's another door over there. I doubt we can open that, but let's do a quick check. There's our friend again. Hello. We fought you once already, I don't want to do it again. I don't have time for that, and I've got better places to be, better things to do, no better time than now. That's not how that song goes at all, but we're rolling with it. 
If we can open this door and it's called something, well actually if we can open this door at all, we're gonna do an investigation of it, but I have a feeling we can't. I have a feeling it's gonna require a different key. Maybe not. Seems to work fine. What's over here then? Is this a new area? There's my mouse pointer. We are in the Senecio section, which I also don't have a map for. You know what, before we wander too much further in here, let me... Which section is it freaking in? Find her earring in the Phoenix section. That's where we just were, was it not? We don't need to be here. We'll explore that at some other point. Not right now, though. It's already been 26 minutes. We need to find her key, earring, whatever it is. And then bring it back to her, so that's going to take some time. It's another dig spot right there. Hopefully, uh, we've got all the minerals that all of the people were asking for in my party. Because there were a lot of minerals being asked for. Mostly iron. I think there were three or four people asking for iron ore. Which is weird, because... We're well past the point in the game where I was actually digging up primarily iron ore, but I guess if we're still digging it up here, it doesn't really matter. How much do we have, actually? We should have a lot. We've got 11. That should be enough. Maybe. I don't actually know. It varies depending on who it is, what they're doing, and whatever, actually, how much resources they want. I feel like 10 would be the most, though. Otherwise, this is alright, we don't have a map. God dang it. Alright, so we came from that way. That leads to the other door, right? Maybe? Yes, that leads to the other door to the other area. So we come in there, we go down this way. It's a fairly linear area. Maybe we have to kill that giant bundle of... Uh, now he's not aggressive for some reason. Giant bundle of Janna? Janna over there? It might have changed who's aggressive and who's not aggressive in this area since I left. Yeah, it did. All of these guys are aggressive now. Except for you, Bug. You're alright with me. So we went down this way. There's nothing here except the dig spot, right? Nothing here. There's a dig spot. There's nothing else here. Alright. Hmm... But wait, that's not... God's sake. There's a part of the map over here. The dodges. There's a part of the map over here that I don't think we can get to. Maybe we can, I don't know. Special dig spot. Her earring's not going to be in a dig spot. That's just not how this works. Earring has to be available to all players, even if they have used all of their digs prior to this part of the quest. Otherwise, you're done goofed. Ah, I just barely missed it. It was in the middle of this pile of jana, apparently. Let's just run up and take it. Alright, bye. You guys are uh, terrible at defending your loot. I don't even care. I don't know. They're just jana. What do they know? Apart from how to very ineffectually swing hammers and stuff. We can't use the teleporter to leave because we're in part of the quest. If we leave, it'll reset the quest. Which is alright in some cases. But... Excuse me. A bit of yawn there. In this case, because we need to bring it back to her... In order to finish the quest, there's really not much reason to, considering we're not that far away from her. And we're just skipping all of the enemies anyway. Because it's a side quest through an area that I don't feel like fighting enemies that we've already seen many times before. You've seen Janna. I don't care enough to fight Janna again. Unless we have to, or we're going through a new area. A new story area, anyway. I won't necessarily show all the battles in all the areas, even if I go to an area and grind in that area. After having skipped all of the battles running through it. Which has happened before. Wait a second. 
Ah, oh, yeah, we're in the right spot. Those plants are remarkably fast when they charge. It's so weird. Like, they just kind of wander around very slowly. Once they catch sight of you, though, they're, like, one of the fast. They may even be the fastest enemy in the game, actually. But after they do their little lungy thing, that takes them ages to actually start chasing in, so they're not that bad. As opposed to the dogs, which are, like, constantly on you. Very effectively constantly on you, too. Not just following you behind, like, the bugs all the time. Holy hell, this woman, she swears a lot. This woman, her language is both hilarious and terrible at the same time. I'm glad Quest teleports you out, that makes me happy. Imagine having to run back out of the dungeons every time we did one of these quests, it would add so much unnecessary time to it. It wasn't me, I didn't do anything to her. What was that animation? The ellipses? They couldn't have made this any more suggestive, could they? So we've got a snowflake and an Aeos Salia. I don't think they, they could have made this any more suggestive. Even if they tried more than they already are. The luxury of creating a firmer and deeper connection. All right, woman, whatever. She gives you a flower, by the way, and something for a, for a future quest. I believe they're both special items. They are. So it gives you a flower from Hannah that represents a new beginning. The pure white flower petals are reminiscent of falling snow. And then she gives you this, which is a redstone. We need that for later. That is all of the quests in here except for Cademan and that guy. That guy's quest is kind of a thing we'll kind of do passively for the most part. We'll eventually go through an area and just pick up his item and come back and give it to him. And that'll be his quest. Cademan, however, is being uncooperative. Glory to the Falcons. Yes. Glory to the Falcons. Glory to the Falcons. Glory to the Falcons. I just want you to freaking do your quest thing where I talk to you a bunch and then you go over here and then we celebrate and stuff. He's not in here, I know he's not. Gave him a piece of garbage. Oh well. I have to uh, investigate slightly further on how to actually get him to trigger his side quest because I want to do it. You want to do the side quest for the recruitable characters. Traps? Heck yeah, you'll be the first person to learn traps. Bracelet of grafting. I mean, sure. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. Can't say no to Dave. I didn't actually mean to go to the merchant's lot. Apologies. This is going to be the end of the video anyway, so I guess I could just end it here. But next time... We're not going to be doing side quests next time, we're actually going to be unlocking two new cities. I think that'll be all the cities, at least all the cities that I know of. One of the cities is past Lava Fender, to the south of Lava Fender. The other city is past an area that I haven't unlocked yet from the Great Sand Sea to the west. So we'll unlock those two cities on the next video. Shouldn't take too long, I'll probably be skipping a lot of battles again. Uh, it depends on what the enemies are like in the area. Either way, Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys then.